I don't think I've ever done a video of my pigeons. Um, these are basically homer slash racing pigeons. And, uh, gosh, I've had pigeons for a lot of years now. And um, I raise them and I sell them. And uh, the main reason I actually have them is uh, a bunch of them free fly. And it it prevents the hawks from eating the chickens. So I always sacrifice pigeons for chickens. And um, pigeons are... I actually enjoy them. They're a lot of fun. Here are two young squabs in the nest um, and I'm gonna pick one up here look at that balloon on the chest mom and dad have been feeding him really well pigeons are crop feeders um, both parents incubate both parents raise the young and uh, they're really good parents this one in particular let's see this is the female Do the wind wing whap whack. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, that's the mother. She's pretty defensive. They're not all like that. Um, this individual here is a male. He's sitting on a couple eggs. Oh, and I got a couple babies here. Okay, okay. Oh, 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 oh. Ah, but that's your baby. Crop is full. Yeah, they must have just hatched a couple days ago. All right, okay, 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 okay. There you go. Ow, 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 ow. The, this bird was found by a friend of mine at O'Hare Airport, and it was young. And I've had him ever since. So, but now you like the little Mohawk he's got going. Yeah, so... Um, this is an Afghan Shirazi. This is a female. Those are very expensive, actually. I got them by accident, and, um, there's a guy from New York that's always hitting me up for them. He probably, he buys them dirt cheap from me, and he's probably selling for two or three hundred dollars a piece. That's my guess. Um, this one's a half and half. Half white, half brown. There's, there's his eggs. There's some more Afghan Sarazi pigeons. Those are what they call red and white. The two on the left are the babies from this pair. So, and what else do we got going here? I'm sorry, it's kind of dark in the loft. Uh, let's see, there's another pair of Afghans. There's another little crested guy from this guy here. There's some, some babies. Sorry, it's dark. <laughs> but anyway, so this is my flight cage. They are, this is where they fly. And, um, this part of the loft has got a roof. And, um, anyway. And then there's a, another section in there. Uh, pigeons are actually wonderful birds. It's a shame they got just a bad reputation. They are considered the oldest domesticated bird, more so than the chicken. Uh, human beings been eating and raising pigeons since, I mean, even the ancient, and racing them with sports, as sport, the ancient Egyptians were doing it. But it's believed that when our ancestors were living in caves, they believed that's where the uh, relationship with humans and pigeons began, because the pigeons would be nesting up inside the caves and... Um, our ancestors would climb up the walls and grab the squabs, and they realized that they just keep eating the babies, that the parents would keep them fed all the time. So, but anyway, 
I, I like the ones that have interesting colors. I'm not particularly fond of like uh, this one here that's a brown one and that one is a, the typical gray one. But those are two long standing females that have been here for a long time and I don't plan on uh, parting with them. If you notice, all of them are bands. They got a band with an identification number on them. So, and in case you were wondering, this is where Dora and her babies are living for the time being. So, anyway, yeah, that's just a quick, quick look at, uh, quick look at uh, my pigeons. And now I got to get back to cleaning them. <laughs>